So the next thing we got to do is provide power to our EZABL. Now on this printer it has a separate control box. So we're going to need to open up the control box and we're going to remove these screws here to get to the power supply. So now we have the panel removed and we have access to the printer power supply. Now when we connect the sensor, you'll notice here on our power supply, we've got our AC connections, which are notated by the L, N, and ground symbol. We do not want to touch these. These will fry your kit. We're going to want to connect to the V minus and V plus terminals on the power supply. This is our positive line, which is the red wire, and this is our negative line, which is the black wire. So we're going to go ahead and unwind our cable here. And inside this cable are two wires. There's a red wire and a black wire. So we're going to need to strip this and then strip the wires inside the cable. You can do this with your standard cutters that come with the printer. Just nip at the insulation a little bit. And you can usually get into the wires. You can also put it here and gently squeeze just a tiny bit and pull. And I'm going to intentionally pull a little harder just to show you what will happen if you do. So if you squeeze too hard, you see how we expose the wires? We don't want that. So if that happens to you, snip the end off and try it again. Just do it a little bit light. And it'll eventually pull the white outer sheathing off without damaging the wires. So you see here, I've got access to the wires. I'm going to pull them out. And there's a little strain relief in here. You can go ahead and get rid of that. And clip back the main insulation. And now we're left with our red and our black wire. So go ahead and strip about 10 millimeters off the end here. And this is solid core wire, so it is pretty easy to work with. And again, light pressure. You don't want to cut through the cable. And these will go ahead and insert into the terminals here. Now, if you bought the optional AC adapter, you can power the kit with this AC adapter and you don't have to do this step. There's also a USB power adapter that provides the same thing, but for the demonstration, we're going to be directly wiring this to our power supply. So you want to feed the sensor wire in. If you have a separate control box, you can feed in through one of the existing grommets on the back of the case here. If you have a printer like the Ender 3, you can just follow the rest of the wires in. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this in through one of the grommets here. And this is going to come inside. I'm going to reach down in here and grab the wires. So I have my wires here. We're going to want to attach the red wire to the V plus and the black wire to the V minus. Now, if you have terminals on every single one of these, you can go ahead and double up if you want to. I don't need to on this machine, so go ahead and just loosen this up a little bit. Make sure the wire is underneath the little terminal. And then go ahead and tighten it down. Give it a little tug to make sure it doesn't come out and repeat for the V minus. Go ahead and just pull back the excess wire and that's it. We now have power and we can go ahead and close this up. So now we have our power wire coming out of the control box and we do give you about a meter of wire to work with, which may be too much. You can cut this shorter if you like. And since I know this printer is going to sit about this far from here, I'm going to go ahead and clip this a little shorter. And then we're going to go ahead and strip this wire again because we need power for the other side of the Easy ABL. And again, go ahead and clip back the little strain fibers that are in here. And we're going to go ahead and strip the ends of these. Now, I like to have them really tight up against the control box, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these a little shorter. And we only need a little bit stripped off to go into the terminals for the Easy ABL kit. I'm going to go ahead and cut these flush. And that's all you need for the Easy ABL power. So take your control box and pop the lid off. So we have two different power methods for the Easy ABL. We have the two pin screw terminal and we have the DC jack. If you're using the DC power adapter, you can go ahead and just plug that in and that's how your kit gets power. 
But in our case, we're going to be pulling the printer power. So we have positive and negative here. The positive is towards the top and the negative is on the bottom. And you can see the plus and minus labels on the actual PCB next to the terminal. So go ahead and take the included screwdriver and we're just going to back these off about five turns and then go ahead and take the wires. I like to just spread them out just a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and insert them into the terminal here with the red wire facing up. You can determine the orientation of the board by looking at our logo. If it's right side up, then this is the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these two wires into the terminal. And then tighten the two screws back down that we loosened up. And then go ahead and give them a tug and make sure they don't come out. Now I do recommend you guys use this included screwdriver because it's really hard to over tighten these with this screwdriver because it's so small. If you use a larger one, just be sure not to over tighten it because you can damage these smaller terminals. So now we have our power connected. I can go ahead and plug our sensor into the other side of the control box right here. And you'll hear a little click as it locks in. The last thing we need to do is connect our Z end stop to either the three pin plug here or the two pin screw terminal. Now, if you have bare wires going to an end stop, you will snip those wires off the end stop, strip them and put them into the terminal. Now, it doesn't matter which one goes where because we have this handy little switch here that flips around the wiring direction so you can get a proper end stop reading. 